Hi, I'm Sean Young and I am the Dean of Be Creative Camp and welcome. I am looking forward to meeting you or seeing you again, whatever the case may be, at a week of Be Creative Camp very soon. Uh, if you are new and never done this before, I wanted to give you a little idea of what to expect from a week of Be Creative Camp because it's kind of different from a normal week. If you've been to a regular week of church camp, um, we do some of the same elements and the things that you would expect from a regular week the swimming and the high ropes and the zip lines and the swings and those kinds of things. Um, and we have our lesson times and we have our worship times and we eat meals like everybody else does. But in between and at special moments throughout in a day and throughout the week, we are telling a story and you as the campers are a part of that story in your own way. Uh, I like to equate it to like a murder mystery dinner. Like if you've ever been to a murder mystery dinner, you have a character that you're playing. You choose the way you want to play your character. And we'll give you some guidelines and say, you know, these are the things that your character has to be, or this is the scenario your character is in. But you're totally free to make that character who that character is. And we encourage it completely for you to just, just to ride that character out and, and be it full force as much as you can. So there's a lot of like a, an improv sort of feel to that. Um, no one's ever put on the spot and said, you've got to get up on a stage and perform this or that or whatever, like, you know, some sort of improv game show or whatever. Uh, it's more like just a, a fun story that everybody's in together. And we as the staff are uh, pushing a, a message through. Um, we're allowing the story to move toward a concept that we want you as the campers to uh, take from it by the end of the week. So you'll watch the story unfold while being in the story and interacting with the story. Um, it's a really cool, uh, like, it's a way to experience scripture and to, to, to take in a lesson without it just being you're sitting in one place and people are telling you, um, what you need to know or what you should remember or whatever. Uh, so we have this very uh, improvisational, interactive, and very student-led, I want to add to, uh, very student-led style of learning. The, the campers themselves have a, an opportunity to direct the way the story unfolds uh, and how in-depth it gets. And even in our, in our worship times, um, the students are are the worship time. We have no, we have no set lists. We have no praise team. We have no set group determining how the entire group worships. Uh, we all come together with if we've brought instruments or we've made instruments. Some people have made shakers or little you know, drum things, you know, bring a trash can in and smack on it with a stick. People have done all sorts of stuff. Or if you have your own guitars, banjos, ukuleles, whatever. Um, we come in to a circle together and we just kind of let the spirit lead us. And if it's an hour, it's an hour. If it's two hours, it's two hours. Um, but it's, it's for the students to allow themselves to open up to getting out of a worship box, if you will, that there's no, there's no flashy lights, there's no laser shows, there's no screens to read the words off of, there's no any of that. It's just, here we are, just being as open as we can be and letting the worship flow out of us. If we're, if we're making up a song, if we're just humming the same five sounds over and over again while reciting scripture over top of that, whatever, it can take a thousand different forms. Uh, and it's really a beautiful thing because we're allowing the students to be open to that, to, to let that come through. So don't be scared by it. It's not, there's nothing weird about it. It's just, it's not a traditional camp service. It's not a traditional camp day, really. Um, it's, it's an opportunity for you to as a camper for you to uh, really open up your heart and know what what all you're capable of as a 
child, a unique child of God. So we really want you to bring a Bible with you when you come. Um, we do read a lot of scriptures. We have a lot of times they're dedicated specifically to studying. Um, we will be breaking down the sentence structure of scripture. We will be breaking down the author's intent of scripture. We will be breaking down the spiritual context of that scripture, the historical significance of a scripture. There's a lot of need for study and we want the campers to get into it very hardcore. So we want you, if you've got your own study Bibles, if you've got something you've been making notes in the margins for years, bring it, embrace it. That's your Bible, please, please bring your Bibles. If you have a musical instrument and you wanna bring it, definitely bring it. If you have a guitar, awesome. Um, really, there's, there's a thousand instruments you could bring. Uh, drum sets really aren't gonna help a lot. Um, Sorry, but if you've got like a little bongo or something else like that, that's totally fine. Or you can try the trash cans because they are really, really good. Uh, so you can bring your musical instruments and we have a place that we can lock them away every night. So there's no need to worry about um, having them out in the open at night or whatever. Um, what not to bring? Please don't bring a preconceived notion that our camp is going to be like another camp that you've experienced. Because if you've never been to Be Cree, and you arrive thinking it will be like a camp you've been to before, you're going to be um, a little bit shocked, I think, at times. Um, hopefully in a good way, uh, but it's, it's different. Um, we will probably push you a little harder than a normal camp, and I, and I don't mean that in a mean way. Um, I think that we just, we go like a one level deeper um, than a lot of the regular base camps would do. Um, the other thing not to bring are phones. And this is the first time that we've actually established this as a rule for everyone. Um, we've, it's always been a thing that we didn't want them to do, but we've never said don't. Uh, and it's, it's just impossible to deal with anymore. Um, please don't bring your phone. If you have to bring it, you can bring it. We will keep it in a secure location, but you can't just be having it with you to just make calls or whatever, whenever you want. If there's an emergency, we have ways of contacting people in emergencies. Um, but it's just become too much of a distraction. And it, if you're still engaged in the outside world, then you're not investing that week into this camp. And it's not fair to anybody to do that. So do not bring the phones. And I'm, I'm telling you this now so that you can get ready for that. Um, it's gonna take a day or two for your brain to really process not having a phone for a week if you're really, really into your phone. Um, so get ready now to not be with your phone for the week. And I think after that week, you're gonna be absolutely amazed at um, how much better you feel uh, after having a week without it. So. That's what I wanted to tell you. Uh, really, really looking forward to having you at one of our weeks of Be Creative Camp very soon. And until then, I will see you. Thanks.